you guys wait for it, now I have it. So let's get on with this review. guys had a great Valentine's Day, I know I, know I did, god damn. But in any case, it's your boy, Brass Tax in this bitch, you already know, you already know. Now before I get on with this review, I want to say that I watched this on an LG OLED, Dolby Atmos sound. So I'll be talking about the sound in this bitch. In any case, let's get on with this. Axel Ridge is a true story based on Desmond Doss, who was a soldier who fought in Okinawa during World War II. There's something special about this dude because he's, he's religious, but he's religious to the point that he won't draw a weapon on anyone and he won't kill anyone. The circumstances that have happened in his life had, had, have shaped him to be this kind of person, and this movie is really about what he does and how he does it when he's at war. If you know your history and you know what exactly happened, then you know that this guy is special. If you don't know, don't even look it up, just watch the movie, because I didn't know about this. I watched the movie and I was literally blown away. It's one of the best movies in recent memory. It's split up into two parts. The first part is kind of like a love story where he's meeting his girl and it's kind of sweet. It's a sweet kind of situation. The second part is all out warfare in this bitch. Mel Gibson frustrates me, right? Because he makes fantastic movies. He makes awesome movies, but every time I think of Mel Gibson, I think about his rants, and I think about that phone conversation. You guys know what phone conversation is, but I can't take away from the fact that he's an awesome director. He's one of my favorites, and he's made another masterpiece here. Everything from the musical score to the cinematography of this music, beautifully shot, it's a nice looking movie. And across the board, the acting is A1. I was very surprised with some of the cast. You got Vince Vaughn. He used to do, play some serious roles back in the day. He's awesome in this. Hugo Weaving really impressed me because I'm used to seeing him in like a, as Agent Smith. And over here, you see him in a totally, totally different light. Now, Andrew Garfield, I haven't, I'm, I've been a bit indifferent about. I, obviously, I've seen him in Spider-Man and a couple of other movies I wasn't too impressed with, but he is phenomenal in this movie. You really do care about everyone in this movie. When it comes to Mel Gibson movies, you know there's one thing he does very well, and that is violence. And this movie has a shit ton of it. This is some gruesome shit. Ultra realistic, ultra visceral, it's gonna affect you. You're gonna look at some scenes like, damn. Mel Gibson knows how to direct this shit, but it, what he also has in this movie is a hell of a lot of heart. I was getting upset when I was watching it. I had to, I had to take plenty of sips of water in this bitch. The problem I have with the movie is I think I felt it ended a little abruptly, in my opinion. Just a little bit. It's around two hours, 20 minutes. Not once did I look at my watch. I wanted to see more, and I, I just felt it ended a bit too quick. That's all I can really say about that. But other than that, it is a fantastic movie. You guys need to watch it. But now you guys are figuring out whether you should pick it up in 4K or not. So that's what we'll talk about. <music> guys, I'm gonna try something a little different with this thing. Let's go. like that, I'm gonna do that from now on. This is one pubic hair short of reference. It has reference quality moments. It is a very, very noticeable upgrade over the 1080p Blu-ray. The detail and the sharpness is very prominent from the offset. The first half of the movie is a lot warmer than the second half of the movie. The first half of the movie is pretty much about love. Vibrant, rich in colors, and is detailed as hell. 100% detailed as hell. The latter half in terms of the detail, they're slightly more muted, but the detail is A1. You notice everything from the debris 
to the rocks, the foliage, the explosions. Everything is very detailed. Wrinkles, textures in, in the soldiers' uniforms. Vince Vaughn's wrinkles. Hugo Weaving looks extra fucked up in this. I'm not even gonna lie to you. You notice pupils and everything. Like, there is a lot of detail in this movie. Andrew Garfield is in the church, and I believe his mum is singing with the, with the choir and stuff. And that colour, the HDR in that looks phenomenal. HDR is another really, really good addition to this uh, 4K transfer. There's a lot more gradient in the color space. Fire looks uber realistic in this. You know, to the point, I, I did a slow-mo of it, and I'm like, damn, that's some beautiful looking fire. It's rich where it needs to be, because that's the director's intention, but still preserving the whole natural look. The black levels are very nice. There's a scene where Dos, he, he makes his way into like a sort of cave, a hideout, so to speak, and it's very dark. He's trying to evade certain people. And the detail on that, was A1, so the black levels are also very good. It's amazing how much detail you can see in darkness. That shit crazy in this bitch. Shadows, everything look fantastic. Depth of field is also very nice. There's scenes where the soldiers are talking amongst themselves in a hideout and you can see the background behind them. You can see the different degrees of depth. Just for fun, I went back to watch the 1080p upscaled and it still blew that out of the water. Dolby Atmos sound. God damn! This is reference quality sound. I've heard Dolby Atmos before. I have a lot of friends or people who have 4K who just have the TV and aren't too fussed about the sound. If you're one of those people, you're doing yourself a great disservice by doing that because it adds so much more to the movie. The detail and depth in the sound is outstanding. Especially in the second half of the movie when you've got gunfire going everywhere, you hear the shit whiz past. And it really does make you feel like you're there. You're hearing sounds all the way around. There's little things, there's points in this movie where it's very quiet, very, very quiet, and you can still hear the wind hitting the clothes. Do you know what I mean? You can hear these little things from the environment of the first half of the movie, and then when you're in the gunfire, it just cranks up. It just cranks all the way up. You really do feel like you're there. You feel the terror. When they're in the thick of it, it fills up the entire room. There's something involving a flamethrower. Do got a flamethrower in this bitch! And he's like going across the screen, right? He's going across the screen. He's going across the screen. You hear the flame from this side to this side. It's panning across you. That shit, amazing. All I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna say once again, reference quality sound. You cannot go wrong with the sound whatsoever. Sound A1 in this bitch. Now this is a good thing, we got extras on this bitch. We got The Soul of War, which really consists of a lot of different mini featurettes, uh, interviews with the cast and characters on the production of this movie. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, so it's quite a sizable extra. There's another one which is the Veterans Day greeting where Mel Gibson pretty much just talks for a minute, just paying respect to the troops and everything. It is what it is. It's a minute long, what do you want me to say? You've got a few deleted scenes which don't really add anything to the movie, but they're worth a look. And then you've got the theatrical trailer. So overall, brass tacks, seal of approval in this bitch. An amazing movie. It is a fantastic transfer. Not quite reference quality, but you cannot go wrong with this. You should pick this up as it is by far the best version of the movie you're gonna get. 100%. You're gonna notice it straight away. There's some of you who may feel like this is reference quality. Whatever it is, it's a beautiful transfer. That's really all I gotta say about it, guys. Pick it up, what are you waiting for? I hope this review was informative. Please hit the like button, definitely subscribe, and I'll catch up with you guys soon.